Today we are here to announce the addition of Robert Van Wiese to the FBI's top 10 most wanted fugitive list. Robert Van Wiese is wanted for the 1983 brutal murder and sexual assault of Laura Stout here in Austin, Texas, and a building that was occupied by the University of Texas Administrative Services. The reason we're adding him to the list today is because we believe that there is information out there that someone knows where he presently is. We have received tips that he is either still here in Central Texas or New York City, Washington, Mexico, or Guatemala. Frankly, he could be anywhere, but we've received tips that he could be in one of those areas. By adding him to the top 10 list, and because of the media that it generates to be added to such a big list, we think we can find him. This has been a long, sometimes horrible journey for our family, and um, our mother once said, you know, that he could run, but he would not be able to hide forever, and somebody out there knows where he's at. Um, they need to do the right thing and call the right departments to get him to caught and brought to justice. It's not going to bring our sister back, but it will help us hopefully get some closure in our lives. I will never be able to fully express the whole of loneliness and emptiness that is left in my chest because my mother was taken away from me when I was only an infant. So because of that, I am a 30-something year old woman with a baby book that doesn't go past my first checkup. She only got to see one birthday, of which no photos actually exist. She wasn't there for any birthday after. She was not there for the first day of kindergarten. She wasn't there whenever I got up and sang solo for my high school choir concert. And she wasn't there when I walked across the stage and received my diploma. We still need one thing, and that's justice for Lori. 33 years is too long to wait for it. It's time for this man to be held accountable for his actions. It's time for my family and friends to have justice for my mother. It's time for whoever it is that's helping him hide to stop. He's out there walking around, living the free life that he took away with, from my mother. He's out there walking around, um, and I'm left here living the sentence of sadness and depression for 33 years. In today's world of the media and the power of the top 10 list, we don't think there's a place in this world that you can hide where we can't reach out to someone who's seen you, someone who recognizes you, calls the FBI, gets a $100,000 reward, and we can bring this man to justice. That's why we are doing this today.